Hey guys, Chris Godber here. Welcome back to the channel. In terms of professional audio and musical instruments and equipment, that old saying of you get what you pay for almost always rings true. However, there's a very few exceptions to that, and in the next couple videos, I want to showcase some products that are exceptions to that rule. There are some very affordable things that I think are very neat and punch way above their weight. They're products that I've been using for several years, and I think whether you are a DJ, a solo musician, or you're in a band uh, performing especially for private events and things like that, these will be some uh, items that I think will be beneficial to you. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay right here and get notified when I upload those videos. Today we're talking specifically about in-ear monitors. The in-ears, the, the headphones themselves, not the wireless system. I am going to be talking about one of those in the next video. Uh, a very budget-friendly and high-quality wireless in-ear monitor system. So that's coming up. But today I want to talk about the earbuds. Earbuds and our in-ear monitors, it can be a bit confusing. There's so many options out there, most of them very expensive. And Shure and Sennheiser are uh, some popular brands in that realm. And the, uh, the Shures and the Sennheiser, the, the cheapest model you can get, starts at about $99. And uh, honestly, they're not that great. I've used them. Um, you know, to get a good sounding in-ear monitor in those brands, you really do need to spend a little bit more. However, I found something that sounds much better to me in my ears than those $100 entry-level Shures. The first one I want to talk about is the KZ ZS10 Pro. It's kind of a mouthful. I'm just going to call them the KZs. Now, there's a lot of uh, marketing hype and things that can be very confusing about the drivers. You know, dual driver, triple driver. This has five drivers, which is a bit overkill and sounds a bit nuts to me. I can't speak on how much of a difference that makes or how high quality the drivers are, especially at this price point, five drivers in a headphone that's $50, like, I don't know. I was, I was very skeptical. A producer friend of mine turned me on to these and told me about them, and he likes them uh, for recording and when he's uh, at church leading worship and playing, playing shows and things as well. I have to say, regardless of how many drivers are in there, that doesn't really mean much to me. It all goes down to how well they sound. And these have a great full range, crisp sound, good lows, mids, and highs, uh, without the low being overdriven, you know. And in ear monitor, I don't want uh, excess bass production. I don't want a bass boost in my in ear monitor. I want uh, to hear exactly what is there and nothing added. Um, to that low end. You know, if you're just listening to music, I understand people wanting that bass boost in, uh, in their earbuds, you know, if you're jogging, exercising, working in the gym, whatever. But when it comes to recording audio or playing on stage, you want kind of just a clear reproduction of the sound. And that's what these give you. Uh, no issues there. I think they sound great. It comes, uh, you can, for like a dollar more, you can get the version that has the cord with the uh, the microphone on it. And that's what I did. I mean, most phones are using the AirPods and things like that and Bluetooth headphones. So there's probably not much much need for that anymore. Um, but, you know, it's a dollar more. Why not? So you can get it with or without. I think it comes with two cables if you do that. I've been using these for several years. So they probably come with two different cables now. I know the basins do. Uh, but that's that's this version. Lots of different colors. There's, you know, the different little rubber ear uh, ear pieces that it comes with to kind of get a fit for your ear or you could do the custom molded route I haven't done that I haven't really felt the need for that because I'm not using them every day uh, but you can certainly do that I get a pretty good fit with the uh, middle medium size earpiece that seems to fit my ear canal really well and they do a good job of uh, sound isolating uh, I don't hear much on the outside <laughs> when I put these in it really uh, does have a good secure fit my caveat to these is the earpiece itself isn't a swivel. Um, you know, these are kind of to shape once, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a bendable, it's just, it's molded to be that. So it, it's easy to find a fit in your ear. However, I've, I like wearing these for short term, but for when I'm performing on stage, I find myself fiddling with them more for whatever reason, trying to get them right. And I found out that I kind of like the comfort of these other ones, the Basin. Um, this one it feels really good. I like that it's flexible. Uh, lots of different color options on this as well. This is just 
in my blue pair. I actually have two pairs of these, a brown one and a, and a blue one. Uh, but I like that it just completely spins around. So that's, that's nice. And this is totally flexible so you can get it shaped exactly how you want it. Um, so they sound really good too. I believe this is a dual driver. Basin has a B, uh, Basin Basemaster Pro that's a triple driver. Um, so that's the next model up. So I assume this one's a dual driver, which in order to get a dual driver, sure, you have to step up to that uh, SE425 model that's 240 bucks. For the price point, you can't go wrong with either one of these. Uh, I like both of them for different reasons. You'll see me using these. Uh, I kind of have these for my home recording setup. I usually use over-ear headphones, but especially if I'm doing videos, I like to do the saxophone cover videos on here sometimes. And you'll see me wearing these quite a bit. Uh, these are just the ones that I keep here at my production desk, and so they're always handy. When I'm performing on stage, I find these to be comfortable long-term. I find myself not adjusting them. Once I put them in, they, they stay where I need them to, and I don't find myself fiddling with them like I do uh, perhaps with these. But it all depends on your preference, you know, different ear shapes and sizes. So it's really up to you. I've used both on stage, and I can't really say... Uh, I like one 100% better than the other, but it, I tend to, to go with the basins for the most part, and I have those in my gig bag, and uh, I use those without fail. So I've uh, been very impressed with those. For the price point, you can't go wrong with either one at 50 bucks, even if you bought both of them. It's an Amazon item, so you can send it back if you don't like one. Find which one you do like and send it back. You know, that's always an option as well. Or you just keep both and have two good sets uh, for different occasions and things. That way you've always got them. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Be sure to check out the next video I'm going to be putting up soon. It's about my wireless in-ear system that I use that you can use with these. And you can use it for a lot of other things too. i got a trick for uh, those of you DJs and uh, running live sound, how to use that to uh, beam a speaker across a room without having to run an extra XLR. It saves on tape and tripping hazards and all that. So uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.